So I've addressed this before and I'm going to address this again. It's a very stupid statement. It has very serious, dire consequences. Man talk about fuck the police, man talk about defund the police, man talk about get rid of the police force as a whole. I'm probably going to call this video it's better to have a crooked police force than no police force, you know. So I've spoken in videos before about people them talking about get rid of the police force and that. It's like the police have a tough enough job. I don't get it to say, but I'm not on the police's side. And I just say what's right is right and what's wrong is wrong. And it's like they're making the police's job ten times as hard. Like, I, so I, honestly, I feel sorry for the police, man. When they have to step out and that, the abuse they get, like, they can't even get support from the general public. So they got to deal with fucking murderers and crackheads and drug dealers and men that walk with knives and that. And on top of that, they ain't even getting support from the general public and that. They must feel so isolated and alone. But it's funny, though, because a lot of people say they hate the police and they got bad things to say about the police. But I'm telling you right now, if five men kicked off your door, blood, and they were holding you hostage, you would want ten police officers to pull up and run up in your yard and kick the shit out of them and put them in handcuffs and dash them in a fucking back of a van. So don't talk that you hate the police and that. See, everyone hates the police until they need them. They get chissy, man. I'm not saying the police is my friend or not. Fam, I don't know them. I don't give a fuck about the police, blood. But all these people say, oh, fuck the police. Fuck. Blood, if man ran up in your yard and kidnap you and fucking hold you hostage and that, you're going to call the fucking Jakes, blood. You're going to hope that the police come to rescue you. Oh, the police this, the police that. But what happens when, when your grandma's house gets burgled and that? And you ain't got time to go down there and defend grandma or whatever. And imagine someone's doing something to your grandma. You're going to want the police to go and defend your grandma. People think that the police's sole job is to harass black people and, you get me, uh, cause trouble to the black people. Then, nah, fam, they do a lot, you know. They protect your grandma. Their police presence alone stops people from wanting to commit crime. Just like I said, you know, with the police... Stopping, uh, stopping people in their cars without insurance. I've got the AMPR. They're putting a warning out there. They're putting a message out here. We're about, we're going to catch you. With the police just being about driving up and down and that, they put people in the mind frame of, oh, you know what the police are about? You know, I might get caught if I do something illegal. If you was planning on robbing a bank, would you prefer to run up in the bank? Even if you was armed, would you prefer to run up in the bank? without any police being about, or would you prefer to run up in the bank with a couple of community police officers just walking down the road? You'd rather do it without the police. Just their presence alone is a deterrent, blood. And that is the realest truth. So what inspired me to make this video today was, man listen to drill music, man love drill music. When I want to find a new drill track, instead of going on GRM Daily or Pac-Man TV or even SB TV, I'll go on YouTube and type in drill compilation videos and a video might pop up top 10 rudest drill this is so what someone's done is they've listened to a bag of drill tracks and they've heard something in a track that's a very disrespectful reference a man might say something along the lines of if you don't move right you will get left and that will make reference to basically some, this is a true story some youths went over there mopeds and you get me they shot up the place and someone didn't move right so they actually got left on the ground if you get what i'm trying to say so anyway in this compilation video they will just have a little one minute clip of a particular track where someone's saying something mad in the video yeah i sent corn for your mum if you know what that means you know if you don't you don't in this compilation video that's 10 minutes long there will be 10 one minute tracks so i'm just listening to it because all I need is a 20 second sample of a track. Now I know whether or not I want to listen to that track in it. And I'll find it on YouTube. Innit? So anyway, today, and I've seen these before, innit? There'll be these mad compilation videos and that. Top 10 most OJ in London or top 10 most OJ in North London. And they will go through the list 
and they will throw up a man's name, let's say like Lamps, Wood Green. They will list all of the man them that he's got down, all of the man them that he stabbed, and there will be a list of these stuff. This person, this person, this person, this person. There's a fat list of 20 men. Or they will, they will name a next brother. And they will list all the people this person shot dead. Or they will list their next brother. This person got five men down in one month. This person here has put two people in a wheelchair and that. So anyway, as I'm driving and that, when I get stuck in traffic, which is quite a lot around this area and during certain times, I'll be watching and I'll be going and looking at the list of people at that. And I just think to myself, the people them that say, yeah, man, they need to get rid of the police and fuck the police and that and get rid of the police, them is no good. These police that you're saying is no good, that you want to defund the police force and get rid of the police and you're saying fuck the police and that they're saving you from these people, potentially. Trust me, there's certain man right now they need to be locked up in jail, blood. They're just too dangerous, fam. It's funny. Most of the people, them, and obviously, the numbers are going to work in that favour, obviously, isn't it? But most of the people, them, that are saying, fuck the police and defund the police and get rid of the police force, it's people that are civilians, people that have never been in a gang, people that have never been on a ride up. What are you talking about? Get rid of the fucking police blood. Obviously, it's easy for me to make a reference to that film, The Purge, in it. But, like, literally, just imagine what the world would be like. Just imagine what the UK would be like if there was no police force, you know. I'm telling you right now, it's better to have a crooked, bad police force than no police force, you know. The amount of man I know. If they were not locked up, the amount of dead people that will be out on the streets. That... There's man that I know who technically you could say they've got two bodies technically because they've stabbed someone up. The person has died, but then they was able the ambulance then was able to revive them and bring back bring the person back to life. Someone I know has done this to some to, to, to two different people, blood. You basically got two bodies, blood. Other man I know getting trigger happy, shooting this person, shooting that person, shooting this person. Now nah, they're in jail for a shooting. But they've actually get me off someone and people don't even know about it. Unsolved. You understand what I'm trying to say? I ain't trying to say too much. If there's no police presence, who's going to protect your grandma? Who's going to make people then think twice about brucking into people's yards or doing this or doing that? Blood? What do you mean defund the fucking police? What do you mean get rid of the police force, blood? The people then that say that the first ones to fucking call the police. Like I said in that video, if man bruck in your yard, you would want the police to come and kick the shit out of them and throw them in handcuffs and that. Obviously, the police, they're humans. So... No matter what organisation, there's always going to be people that are evil. It don't, it, don't, it don't matter if they're police officers and that. If they weren't police officers, they'll still be evil. Whether they're in a uniform or not, they're still evil people, isn't it? So you are going to have man that will, you know, the Sarah Everin woman. You are going to have police officers that will kill, rape off and, and, kill, and, and kill women and that. They're talking about, when that, that, that thing was going on with that woman, R.I.P., that's the one about educating the police and that. What, what do you mean educate male police officer? What are you talking about? We're going to put a man on a course. Yeah, you know, you shouldn't kill women and that. Just stupidness, blood. Unfortunately, every now and then, there is going to be some madman police officer that is going to kill some woman. You hear about all the time in America, isn't it? Yeah, fucking police officers raping off women and all, the, all this madness and that. It's going to happen, unfortunately. Get me the the justice system just has to deal with it. Their man, their their sentence should be a lot worse because you know you're 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 you're, you're like you know you're a member of um, you're here to protect and serve. So if you're abusing your power, like you need to, they need to throw the book at you.
for sure. Imagine like you hear that a judge is getting nicked for this or nicked for that or whatever. Really. You think, nah, man, throw the book at him and that. Especially he's a man that you get me, he's going around and putting people behind bars and making man sit down for 10, 12, 15, 20 years and not losing a wink of sleep. Anyone that talks about get rid of the police force, man, you don't know what you're fucking talking about. Civilians are the worst people. I've even heard stories, man, watch podcasts and that. Cut a long story short, one youth's in the in the club and he said that one big guy. I don't know, I think he even said he was six foot six. I don't know how how tall the youth is that's talking on a podcast, but he's talking about some tall brother that's six foot six. But and to be fair, it don't even matter how tall you are. If someone's six foot six, he's taller than you, innit? Yeah, most people ain't even fucking six one, six two, let alone six foot six. One guy barged him and he kind of just let it go on it, but then he tried to barge him again. And my man just took the Lamborghini bottle, bust his eye socket, bust his nose, and licked out a couple of his teeth. And that, you know, the guy that started the beef that got mashed up, you know what he ended up doing? He ended up going to court. For some reason, they adjourned the case and that, or they dashed out the case and they had to bring a new jury in. My man went and testified again, blood. This be the same idiot, the same punk that's talking about get rid of the police force. And that. But then when you get mashed up after you start beef, you're going to court and you're, and you're telling, you're telling, Bob, oh, you're an idiot, fam. But, yeah, man, it's a stupid statement. Get rid of the police force, defund the police and that. But literally, if they actually acted on it, yeah, the consequences would be fucking dire. Just imagine what the world would be like if there was no police free reign for people to go and kill people there's certain man like i said right now they need to be locked up forever because they're too evil i'm not just talking about someone that's killed someone there's some people they're wicked blood torturing people and imagine those people running free and that. who's going to protect you against them because most people you're not ready for violence blood you're not like that blood you do your best to avoid situations. I know you avoid situations. I know you avoid confrontation. You know, I know. Ask yourself this question. How many people in your life right now? Could be your mother. <laughs> could be your neighbour. Could be your boss at work. Could be your colleague. Could be some idiot that you see now and then down the street. How many people do you want to confront about a situation? I don't know what. I don't care what it is. Why don't you do it? Because you're afraid of confrontation. Because you know... Potentially, they, obviously, if it's your mum, I don't expect your mum to get violent with you. But you know, if it's a neighbour or someone out on the street or a family member, potentially, it could become violent. And you're not about violence and that. So you don't address situations, innit? So, yeah, man, defunding the police is dumb. It's dumb, it's dumb, it's dumb. Unfortunately, we just have to accept it, accept it as a fact of life that there are going to be some evil police officers and that that are going to take advantage of their power. And get me violate woman. I remember I heard one story in America where a police officer raped a woman in an alleyway during broad day. I'm like, what? Did that man didn't even want to get into no details in that. I'm like, really? Really? Like, and they showed the alleyway as well. It weren't like tucked, like, you know, like in between the building, you know, them projects and that in between the buildings, like a walkway. And I'm thinking, ah, really during the day? Oh boy. But that's it, man. God forbid they ever defunded the police force and that. You'll find out who's who. Trust me. Certain man wouldn't even want to leave their yard. They'd be too scared. Stay where it's done, man.